want to welcome those that are watching on World Harvest Live. Thank you so much for joining, joining us. We're going to have a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. Amen. High five somebody and say, this is going to be a great night. So excited to be here. So excited to be here again. My name is Elder Germain Brunson. And tonight is a time of prayer and praise. Tonight is a special time of prayer and praise. And this is what's going to happen. We're going to see miracles happen in this place tonight. We're going to see some things change in here tonight. We're going to experience freedom in the house tonight. And we're going to worship our God. So this is what is going to happen. Jesus asked this question to his disciples. He was in, in Gethsemane and he went to pray and he left and he came back. And when he came back, he found his disciples. They were all on the ground. They were sleeping. And he asked this question. He said, could you not pray? Could you not watch? Some translations said, could you not tarry for an hour? Well, tonight, World Harvest Church and those watching online, we're going to tell God, yes, we can for an hour. So during the service on the Lord's screens, you're going to see a clock that's going to count us down in an hour. And you, you're going to be amazed at what's going to take place in 60 minutes. So this is what I need to happen. Let's go ahead and run that clock. Let's go ahead and start that. Pastor encouraged us this morning that he wanted us to read two chapters in the Bible. The first was Psalms 40. Ah, I tricked you, didn't I? Psalms 140. And the other one was Isaiah 50. 54. Oh, you're with me, Isaiah 54. So this is what we're going to do. I asked the team to go ahead and throw that chapter, Isaiah 54, on the screen. And we're going to read it together as one body. All right? So let's go ahead and throw that on the screen. And I'm going to start us off. And I want you to read as loud as you can. All right? Here we go. Sing, O oh child of woman, you who have never given birth. Break into loud and joyful song, O oh Joseph. You have never been in labor. For the desolate woman now has more children than the woman who lives her husband, says the Lord. Enlarge your house, build an addition, spread out your home, and spare no expense. For you will soon be bursting at the sea. Your descendants will occupy other nations, and then settle in your own cities. Yes? Fear not, you will no longer live in shame. Don't be afraid, there is no more disgrace for you. You will no longer remember the shame for you and the sorrow of the children. For your Creator will be your husband, the Lord of heaven and arms is his name. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of all the earth. For the Lord has called you back from your grief, as though you were a young wife and by her husband, says your God. For a brief moment I have been with you, but with great compassion I will take you back. But with everlasting love, just as I swore in the time of Noah that I would never be in the blood of Oh, somebody get ready to shout.
going, keep going. Somebody needs to give God praise that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Someone shout right now because God is fighting for us. If you're ready to go into the presence of the Lord, I want you to scream and welcome War Harvest Praise Team.
bless your name in this house tonight. God, we give you praise. We welcome your presence in this place tonight. God, we want more of you.
want you to act like you're touching the hem of his garment tonight. Let's give him the fruit of your lips tonight. Lift your voice right there. Lift your voice. Come on, call them down from heaven tonight. We bless your name, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's sing that bridge, team. Let's sing that bridge. Keep those hands lifted. Sing this. Sing, say. We bid you come like fire. We bid you come like rain. We bid you come in power. I want you to beg them tonight. Beg them. you to be confused I want you to know that God has something special for us World Harvest Church I don't want you to be confused right there where you are watching online God has something special for you and tonight we're gonna pray it down and then we're gonna praise it down tell somebody we're gonna pray it down and we're gonna praise it down well, this is what I would like for you to do. We're about to enter into a little time of prayer here. So if you would like to get out your seat, you are more than welcome to come to the altar. Hey, maybe you're like pastor. You know, he says and he, he walks around in his prayer closet. So if you want to walk around this tabernacle, maybe you're like me. You're very easily distracted. So what you have to do is go get in the corner and lay down and put your face on the carpet. Not necessarily because he touched you, but you because you don't want to be distracted. So listen, we need for you to, maybe you like to sit down. Listen, however it is that you pray and you get a hold of God, this is the moment that we're going to do that. Someone shout, amen. amen. Oh, come on, I need somebody to get excited that we're about to bombard heaven. Oh, come on, next harvest. I need for you to get excited with me that we're about to talk to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So listen, what was that second chapter that Pastor wanted us to read together? Psalm 140. 140. Guess what? We're going to start this time of prayer off by praying Psalms 140 together. Ushers, if you can do me a favor, go ahead and open up the curtains in the back because I'm telling you on Friday night, this place is about to be flooded 
And when they walk in here, they're going to walk into an anointing. They're going to walk into healing. They're going to walk into deliverance. And here's the good thing. It's going to happen to us first. We're going to get breakthrough before they get it. We're going to get touched before they get touched. So listen, again, you're welcome to go into the risers. Walker, I see people already making their way. That's awesome. And hey, let's pray this scripture together. And we're going to touch the hem of his garment tonight. Here we go. Oh, Lord, rescue me from evil people. Protect me from those who are violent. Those who caught evil in their hearts and stir up trouble all the day long. Their tongues sting like a snake. The venom of a viper drips from their lips. Oh Lord, keep me out of the hands of the wicked. Protect me from those who are violent, for they are plotting against me. The proud have set a trap to catch me. They have stretched out a net. They have placed traps all along the way. I said to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, O oh Lord, to my cries for mercy. O oh, sovereign Lord, the strong one who rescued me, you protected me on the day of battle. Lord, do not let evil people have their way. Do not let their evil schemes succeed, or they will become proud. Let my enemies be destroyed by the very evil they have planned for me. Let burning coals fall down. The godly will live in your presence. So, Father, we thank you tonight that we are godly people. We are righteous people. We are holy people. And we come to you tonight boldly, believing that what we pray and what we decree and declare in the atmosphere, you're going to answer our prayer. Father, we thank you for loosing angels. Legions of angels are ready to operate on that which we speak tonight. Father God, we're not going to let you go until you bless us. We want more power. We want more glory. We want more strength. We want more of you. And we thank you for doing it, Father, in Jesus' name. for World Harvest Church. We pray for this house of worship that we come to. We pray for World Harvest Church Elkhart. And Lord, we thank you for what it is that you've done in this house. But Lord, we know that you're not finished yet. So Lord, we thank you right now. I pray, I prophesy over these, Lord, refreshing in the name of Jesus. They've given, they've sown, they've believed. And Lord, tonight, I pray you would open the windows of heaven over every dry place in their life. Lord, let abundance begin to reign on their circumstance. Let your love, let your grace begin to be supreme in their lives, God. Refreshing, refreshing. Everything they sow, let it come back in the name of Jesus. Let it come back in fullness. Let it come back, Father. We thank you for it right now. Lord, we thank you for revival. Lord, we thank you that the fire of revival continues to spread in this place, Lord. Let it not just be for a moment. Let it not just be for a season. But Lord, we thank you that you set us in this place for this time, God, for the world, for the world, for the world to see. Lord, let us burn. Let us burn brightly, God. Lord, we thank you that miracles, signs, and wonders happen in this place. We thank you, God, that miracles, signs, and wonders happen in this place. The word says that if the 
you believe revival, if you believe refreshing is coming your way right now, then put those hands together and praise God. Now, Father, we come before you in the magnificent name of Jesus. And even as you gave to the prophet Joel, it'll be in the last day I'll pour my spirit out upon all flesh. You didn't give an age. You didn't tell them how old they had to be. You said you're going to pour it out. So, Father, tonight I lift up all of our young people. I thank you tonight, Father God, that they're going to hear your voice. They're going to follow you. They're going to become the men, the women of God that you called them to be. The snares of the enemy are broken. Not one of these that you have given shall be lost. But, Father, this is the generation that you are raising up for next harvest, for six, seven, and eight, for all of our young people. And, Father, I think back, my first sermon, I was five years old. Father, even as we've seen our young people on this day prophesy, that is only the beginning of the outpouring of your spirit upon young men, young women, Warriors of God that are not going to be tempted or slain or turned to the left, turned to the right, but their eyes are fixed forever on Jesus. Jesus I thank you, Father, for our leaders. I thank you for raising up the teachers. I thank you for raising up those, Father God, that are going to pour into their lives. I thank you for the impartation of pastors that are going to go in. to know that it is the Spirit in of Jesus God name. that lives and dwells in Jesus name. and that in you, Father God, do they live in Jesus and move name. and have their being. In Jesus the fields name. are white in the harvest. We pray you, Lord, of the harvest to send forth laborers and may all of our young people be found worthy to be laborers in your field. In Jesus, name. In Jesus magnificent name. Okay, if you're if you're a staff member here at the church and uh, congregation, if you'll just raise your hand, if there's some staff member that's here on staff, I want people to gather around them, uh, Elder G, if that's fine, and let's pray for them right now in the name of if Jesus. You're a staff they've worked. Member, throw your hands up as high as you can. We're gonna pray for you right now. And if you're that's close it. to one of them, let's gather around them. They've yes. worked. Un, unimaginable hours to make Dominion Camp Meeting happen for not only us as a local church but for the world out there. Amen. So let's lift them up and let's call. And if you know a staff member that's not here, let's call out their name before God. Father, we thank you for every staff member at World Harvest Church. Lord, we thank you that their labor of love is not in vain. But God, we just surround them right now with a covering of prayer. We speak healing. We speak to Joanna Ridgeway. We speak to Megan Hassan. We speak to Elder uh, Andrew Sturden. We speak to Lori Ferris. We say that all of these people that are coming together to make this happen, we speak strength into them. We speak, uh, Lord, we just say that they'll have a season of refreshing, that everything will be focused for them, that they will have people surrounding them that will come together to make this happen and yes. to strengthen them and to lift up their hands yes. in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray for our staff. Let's pray for every department, the TV department, every staff member, that they will have the spirit of might rise up in them, that they will get through this week. No sicknesses. We bind sickness in the name, in the name, of, name Jesus. of Jesus. We bind every attack of the enemy on their families. We in pray the protection over their while they're here working these kind of hours to make this happen. We thank you, God, that just like it says in 1 Corinthians 15, steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, and that their work is not in vain, that we will see miracles, signs, and wonders because of their labor of love. And we lift up the staff members of World Harvest Church, every one of them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Bible says how good and pleasant it is for us to dwell together in unity. 
We're in unity tonight because we have a cause. It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, it says, I have called you to be a servant. I have called you not to serve men, but to serve God. And then it says, for whom the Son is set free is free indeed. So when God calls you to be free, he allows you to serve men through him. Because he wants to anoint you to be able to minister to those people. And that's what you're going to do this week. Amen. Amen. Say, I'm a servant of the Lord first. I'm a servant of the Lord first. I'm a servant of the Lord first. Father, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every enemy that will come against the ushers, that will come against the hosts, that will come against the greeters. I find you right now and I serve you. You You have no authority in this house. In this house. I find everything that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God. I thank you, Lord God, that this will be the best week that the ushers have ever had. Let's pray for Valor Christian College. Lift up your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Valor Christian College before you right now. And we ask you for the anointing of Almighty God to come upon the staff and upon the faculty. Lord, we pray for every student. Lord, we pray for remnant as they will be ministering in this platform. Lord, we ask you that the anointing of Almighty God come upon them as he has never come before. And I thank you that as they dance and as they worship and as they praise you, I thank you that chains will be broken. I thank you that people will come to the salvation knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Father, I thank you for every volunteer that will be represented by our Christian college. Yes. And Lord, I pray for a harvest of students yes. that will be touched during Dominion Camp meeting that will come into this school to receive impartation yes. and to take the word of God all over the world. Lord, we believe your word in Acts 1 8 that we will receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon and we shall be witnesses in Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, and to the uttermost parts of the world. So we pray for BCC, and we thank you for the things that you will do in this amazing week. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we just lift up the production department. We lift up facilities. We lift up the food services. These are people behind the scenes. Father, we ask that you work behind the scenes in their lives. We ask your blessing the top of their head and the soles of their feet. Touch them, Father, in everything that they do. They prepared this place. They're going to be here next weekend working, Father, for you. Thousands of lives are going to be touched, Father. We just ask that you rain down on them, whatever their needs are, spiritual, physical, mental, social, financial. Double everything in their life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let them be lifted up high. Let them be witnesses. Let us give thanks to them for everything that they do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But we ask the glory we have brought into their life. And as you're working behind the scenes in their life, we ask that you bless them and bless their families. Give them strength in all that they do. They are witnesses to you. They witnesses to us every day. They're our family. They're our family here. And we want to pray for them just like we pray for our personal families. We ask that you touch them, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise your holy name. We give you thanks, glory, and honor. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up every video technician, every audio technician, every camera operator in this building. Father, I thank you for a supernatural anointing to be on them, a discernment to be where they're supposed to be at the right time. Father, I ask you right now to cover this equipment. There'll be no glitches. No glitches during this time, Lord God. We thank you right now that this equipment is covered by the blood. Father, I think that every operator and every person is covered by the blood. No weapon of the enemy can come against them. Father, I thank you right now that they are blessed. Their family is blessed. They are strengthened. Father, right now, I lift up every musician. I call them anointed now in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak to their hands. 
Their hands will be controlled by the Holy Ghost. In the name Father, of Jesus. That the anointing will come across those instruments. It'll be a wave that changes this house. Yes. Lord God, it'll penetrate the atmosphere. It'll set lives free. It'll deliver. It'll heal just from the beat of the music. Father, I speak strength to every singer. Yes. Right now that their voice will be strengthened. It'll be as angels singing from heaven, Lord God, as it comes forth out of their mouth. Father, we lift them up now. We give you praise for them. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, that you have anointed them for this time. We thank you right now, Lord God, that they are covered. Yes. They are covered. covered. They are covered, covered by the blood of Jesus. Their family is covered. Yes. What the enemy has been for bad, we take authority over now. We tell him to back up. He cannot touch our staff. Father, we thank you right now that they're covered in Jesus' oh, name. Yes, somebody lift your voice and let's take it a little higher. Come on, begin to speak in that unknown tongue and stir that gift oh, right now. I want you to begin to cry out a little louder. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Because this next moment, in these next moments, we're about to pray for our pastor. We're about to pray for his family. We know that something is going to happen on Friday night. That I believe not only is going to speak to this church, but it's going to speak to this city. It's going to speak not only to the city, but to the state. From the state to our country, from our country to the continent, and from the continent to the world. This is what I need for you to do. Lift your voice up on behalf of our pastor right now. Come on, I need for some of you to start moving and praying. This is a good time to pray like he prays. Come on, we're stepping in the gap for our angel tonight. Come on. She told on the bash and told the Lord on the book all time. Mandre Becky, Andre Beshe, Tolobo Sharandaba. The other Basha, Manda Book all time, Randa Becky. She told Randa Bosch, all the Randa Becky, and the Becky, and the Randa Come on, everybody praying, every sound man, cameraman, band member, frontline member. Come on, we're praying for the angel that God spoke to to have this meeting. Lift your voice up for him right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Pastor Parsley. Saying the blood of Jesus is against you. Say in the blood of Jesus is against you. Say in the blood of Jesus is against you. Say in the blood of Jesus. I tell you about shot. That's it. Say in the blood of Jesus is against you. Say in the blood of Jesus is against you. Say in the blood of Jesus is against you. We stand in the gap on behalf of Dr. Pastor Rod Parson. Father, we thank you that he is blessed from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Father, we thank you that anything that he puts his hands to, it is blessed in the name of Jesus. We thank you that wherever the soles of his feet tread, it belongs to him because he belongs to you. Father, we thank you that the fire that's on the inside of his belly is increasing. We thank you, God, that the fire that's in him is going to spread all through him this week. We thank you that Jeremiah said that the word is like fire shot up through his bones. So we thank you, God, that he is consumed by the word of God this week. We come against any spirit but the Holy Spirit. We thank you that he's healed. We thank you that he has joy. We thank you that he has peace. We come against every distraction, anything that tries to shift his mind. We tell you, Satan, we stand here and we refuse to let anything get in his way. We need a word and God, you're putting it in him for us. We thank you, God, that you're going to take him to a place that he's never been before. We, we thank you that something is unusual about him. And we want you 
to do it, God. We pray for Jordan. We pray for Ashton. We pray for Austin. We pray for Miss P. We pray for Mr. A. We pray for Mrs. A. We pray for Amen. We thank you that everyone that's in his family is blessed. Somebody lift your voice up for your pastor. right now in the name of Jesus we pray for every speaker that's coming to camp meeting y'all lift your voice your destiny is attached to the word that's in their mouth so God we thank you for George Bloomer we thank you for Cheryl Brady we thank you for Bishop Clint Brown we thank you for Bishop Tula Bismarck we thank you for Dr. Perry Stone we glorify you for evangelist barking. God, we thank you that wherever they are right now, they feel the prayers of the righteous. We put a demand on them, not for them to speak what they think, but they speak what you tell them. We, we thank you for a spirit of obedience that they will say exactly what you tell them to say in church if you believe that give him praise right now if you believe that everything we pray for is coming to pass I want you to shout scream yell right now if you believe it's not going to happen then but it's going to happen Give God some praise. I heard a new song. Somebody put a praise on it. Fill it with your praise. I said fill it with your praise. what we're going to do. I'm literally going to count 14 seconds. And in this 14 seconds, I need for every person in this room to give God the greatest praise, hear me, that you've given him all year, that when we get into camp meeting, we are about to pass over into the second half of the year, which means it's the greatest part of the year of your life. Are you ready? I want you to go crazy. You ready? One, two, one, two, three, go. 14, 13. 14 more, here we go, 14, 13,
praise, another form of praise, not the only form, but another form is giving. Y'all yeah. know how I do it. It's time to give, World Harvest Church. Make your way back to your seat as you're preparing your offering. Some say, some would say, what should I give in this atmosphere? This is what I'm doing with my family. So some say, what should I give? This is what I'm going to put on. I said put a praise on. I got that off of YouTube. Y'all all know I am the biggest YouTube praise break fan in the world. I don't, if you, if, listen, when I need breakthrough, matter of fact, hey. somebody give praise for Chris Wright, uh, the, our drummer here at World Harvest Church. Please clap for him. Hey. Clap for all the band, actually. So what happened the other night, as you're preparing your offering, if you're making checks payable, make them payable to World Harvest Church. Put WHC there. If you're filling out a credit card, make sure you fill out all your information. Okay, if you're going to put it on your credit card, make sure you pay it off at the end of the month because you ain't going to get interest on what you give God. So, and, and, and I think it was Saturday night. It was late and I was asleep. I didn't feel like watching it because I had a feeling elder starting what it was and it was a praise break so, so this morning I couldn't sleep so it was about 4 35 I just happened to grab my phone and the text message was still lit up Chris so I figured I would I would just press it because I knew what it was I knew it was a praise break and I started praise I just excuse me I start playing it and about the three minute 45 second mark Something came in my room about 4.40 this morning. And I was just laying there in bed. And tears began to stream down my face. Because I was watching a bunch of young people our age, young adult age, reverse age, just losing it. You know, they was cute with it at first. You know you know how we can do We can be cute. We can slide with it. You know, we can do all that. And what happened, the Holy Ghost came in the room. Right. He, we, what, what the guy did on the organ, he did that bum, 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 bum. And when he hit that last bump, all that little cute praise Come on. that was going on, hey. the Holy Ghost slipped in the room. I went. Yeah. I think he just slipped in the room. See what happened? It slipped in the room. And while we was praying tonight, the Holy Ghost said this to me. That when we get to camp meeting, I'm gonna sneak up on some of y'all. This is what he said. He said, Grimane, this seed that you're sowing tonight is gonna call, listen to me before you shout. It's gonna cause me to slip up on you and fix your problem. Hey, yeah, he said yeah. that I'm gonna slip right up on you and deliver you from all the stuff you've been fighting. I wanna prophesy to y'all that's sewing tonight. I wanna prophesy to you that's watching online. You better hit that button, cause this is about to cause God to slip. He 